Okay, so now we have got pretty much everything put back together. Got the timing belt cover back on, the water pump pulley, the alternator, these two bolts up here. There's a bolt down on the underside, somewhere down here, about right there. Um, there's another bolt for this piece here on the right on the back of the alternator uh, and there's two bolts under here, there's one here and one back here somewhere, there it is nope. anyway, there's two bolts uh, so I did all that then to put the new accessory belt on, there's a little hanger you have to put on. It's right here. So you replace one of the bolts for the timing belt cover with a belt that the kit comes with. Uh, then you put the little hanger on there and put the nut on. Uh, and then I'll just help the belt stay in line so it doesn't flop around. So now we're going to install the uh, crank tool for the accessory belt. Uh, you'll want this hole right here down towards the bottom. Then you put this tang right there in the hole. The big tang goes on the outside of the pulley. And there's a small tooth up here that goes on the inside of the pulley. So it'll be installed like this. Okay, so now this is how you put the belt on. So we go from the alternator down to the AC pump, around this little hanger we put on the crank, and up through that hook that we installed around the water pulley and then we'll just turn the crank and this little tool will stretch the belt on and around and then we'll have to uninstall the hanger and the, this little pulley tool and then it's done so on putting this belt on you want to have the belt when you start pulling around you want to start pushing the belt halfway onto the pulley so that way the pulley takes some of the force and not all on this tool trying to push it around so that way so I tried doing that first and it just popped the tool off the pulley so we'll see how this goes okay so that seemed to work so as you're turning just every time you turn the crank turn the crank a little bit just keep pushing on the belt sideways towards the engine and it will eventually get all the ribs onto the pulley, so it seemed to work pretty well. Now I was going to take the hanger off and torque my water pump bolts. Okay, so the last things we did was put the motor mount back in, got the coolant tank back installed, and got the uh, accessory belt cover reinstalled. Just gotta put the wheel on, that should be it.